How do you make the jump from the value-driven slash sales IG feed to a more relatable and sharing your story without scaring your followers off? Uh, super good question, and you sh you're not gonna scare your audience off by that. I mean, and if you, if you do, they're not your people, first of all. Um, but we really teach, and, and everybody teaches this slightly different, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, four pillars of content, and two, or one of those pillars is lifestyle content, right? And what does a lifestyle image mean, or a lifestyle video? It means our life, right? Our family, our dogs, our kids, um, whatever it is, like where we go on vacation, it's our, you know, our, our kid's 19 month birthday that my son just had, right? Um, it's fun stuff that makes us really relatable and really uh, personal, right? It's, it's who we are outside of what we do. So that's pillar number one. Um, pillar number two, three, four are all related to business, but only two of those four are you ever actually asking for business. And you're not actually asking for business in the form of like a CTA. Right, so the other three are value series, which is kind of our specialty, which is one topic divided into five sub questions over the course of a month. Each of those five sub questions is a video, right? So you're answering a question around a specific topic, and that's what the value series is. The other two are testimonials, and if you're on the real estate side, obviously you need to be showcasing transactional history.